Hi guys, Lawrence Wayne or Deuterin006 here. This is the unboxing video of the LOS parts, the new LOS parts. As you can see, I have the old LOS setup over here. Still functioning. And here are the new parts. So, well, usually as my in international orders and normal orders, when you buy them online, they always come in tons of packaging. So this looks like a bag. Let's see if I can open it. Let's throw the scissors. in a random, slightly damaged cardboard box which is sealed with tape in which is a bowl of paper ah. getting some sort of receipt of all the stuff I ordered that is indeed correct in which there is styrofoam Particle things. Tons of those. Well, let's just empty the whole box. Hmm. One more part. The Mega. So, this is, of course, the main part compared to the current LOS. Look at the beautiful little box. There's a quality seal. Also, impossible to break. That's one thing I hate about the national or national orders or online or just the amount of packaging I have. Little thank you booklets and a nice box. And some sort of instructions. I'll read those later. Here it is. Yeah, it's just pretty. Whoa. Look at the amount of wiring in this thing. And it's on the bottom too. It's like it's like a mini motherboard. What kind of is a motherboard? Mini motherboard. I've had pictures of this. I've had this as my background. Now I'm holding it. It's so awesome. So yeah, compared to the Uno, which is the thing over there. This thing is much larger, much faster, much... Well, much more storage. Much awesomer. It feels a bit heavy too. Okay, so let's get to the other parts. I needed a few more wires, as you may have noticed in the previous version. So I got this. That sort of lost me a few projects. A lot of wires there. Now, I needed an SD card for the new project, so here we are. There's a mini micro SD card. There's a chip to control that. The reset button. All these shields have reset buttons. I'm going to custom wire this. Oh uh, yeah, I need some custom wiring. So I got this breadboard, as they're called. Adhesive thing, which I never use because then this is like a one-use thing. And it looks awesome. And joystick shield. I needed a better way to control than those than that stupid little button and the choice uh, dial thing. So I got this. All these little parts. See these little headers and stackable headers, so you can put stuff on top of it. Now that comes with the joystick shield. Now imagine there's a joystick here and buttons and stuff, so you can put another board on top. But why would I put another board on top of that? Really? So what I did was I bought normal headers to use with this, because I'm not going to put anything on top of that, and instead. Where I'm going to use these headers is on this board. Because I didn't. Because that stack of headers are actually quite expensive and they come in this kit. So, you know. But I need this reset button. It's cute. Uh, ah, there it is. It's my spare chip. Because I have a feeling I might blow the, blow the you know to pieces testing some of these. So in case that ever happens, I get this little backup chip over here. 
It's more powerful than the red game. Much smaller too. This is much more powerful, even smaller. And then these DC jacks. You see they fit, should fit inside each other. Let me just get them out. They should. They probably will. Look at that, they fit. Oh, surprising. And they have wires on the side. This is I bought for multiple reasons. One, because this thing is going to have plugs on the outside. And you can't just put shove this onto the side of the computer. So I'm gonna use these to kinda of like into the board and then this comes part of the chassis where you put the plug in. Also, uh once another way to put in power except via mm -hmm. these barrel jacks. So you can just put wires into there and then supply power to the mega like that. Finally, I can put a power switch between these two. So I can turn it on and off without having to unplug it. So yeah, here are all the little pieces and the awesome mega. Made in Italy. Smells new. Okay. So that's basically the unboxing part. Let's compare the oops. Sorry, operating system. This is the Uno. This is the Mega. Size comparison. Yeah, the Mega is obviously like twice as big. Or well, I don't know the precise amount, of course. Okay. So the Mega should be loaded, maybe, probably, loaded with a demo program to test it. I plug it into my battery. There it is. The lamp. That's the blinking test. Comes default to the whole boards. Although this light is quite faint, I must say. It works. Okay. I'm going to try and do a few things with this new Mega and I'm going to have a lot of soldering ahead of me so I have to solder this and this let's get a little prototyping space so you can make your own circuit on it I'm going to do a lot of testing with those and build a lot of circuits and stuff so I had this list somewhere on my computer, wait the things I'm going to do in the correct order. Okay, I don't remember them off by heart, but basically I'm first going to try put the normal LOS and port it to the Mega. Might need some minor little modifications to wiring and design, but we get it running on that screen. We're going to use the same controls, same buttons, you know, so it's just going to test if everything's working. And Getting some used to the new mega system. Okay, wait. Why do I have to make the LOS documents? What, 12 pages? Yeah. And uh, here it is. Okay, basic test. Then a TV outer test. We're moving LOS 0.4. There's D test. So I'm going to test this thing. Okay, why don't I just turn the camera towards here? Okay, you can't see it that well. Uh, then I do another SD test. Oh, by the way, I do it first in the UNO, because if I do the wiring wrong or the soldering wrong, then the UNO will blow up, which is much cheaper to replace than the Mega, because, in fact, I even have this little backup chip in case it do blow it up. And so I've got three tries. One with the normal Mega, one with the normal UNO, one with this UNO chip, and then with the Mega. Then the PS2 test, which is a keyboard type. It's much easier to interface than USB. Then full test. I'm going to make a little program that tests all three things, PS2, SD, and TV out, which is television, by making letter, a little application that you will be able to like type stuff in, 
it'll appear on the screen and well yeah when you push enter it or F1 or some button I'm not using on the keyboard it will save it to an SD, save it to the SD card it's document.txt or text.txt or something they'll implement loading and saving and different file types and um, and it'll work on BIOS and you know, all that crap that's probably not important to you guys okay so I might make little segments of my progress with the new LS parts thanks for watching hope you liked it um, hope I inspired hope you like my progress hope you have suggestions I hope a lot of things and I hope I'm going to solder it correctly and not screw the whole thing up as well so yeah again thanks for watching subscribe blah 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 all the other stuff people say and comment and like and yeah okay so this is my first unboxing video of the OS parts section 2 bye